messaged he just messaged me and said Eric's gonna be his date. Eric's gonna be Rich um Mooch's date at Richie's wedding. God. That's what I'm saying, dude. Look, we can sit here and laugh, have a good time. We're having fun. But, again, you need to, dude, you just need to shut it out. You already blocked them. Just walk away. Stop with the freaking stupid t-shirts. I mean, you oh, just. come on. It was funny. It was funny when I saw it. It was. And when I saw it, I laughed. Until you turned it around. And it said, then that's no BS. There was no need for that. No. So you got a revenge with it. So so if this was a movie, it'd be RDP Promotions presents Revenge with a T shirt. Hold on, Kevin. Last night, me and Sheldon Benjamin were looking at this T shirt like Richie. This is just the the font you have on here looks like something from 1985. You know them shirts back in the day with Hi, my name is Michael or something yeah. like that. That's what that should look like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rich, let it go, dude. Look, I'm telling you. I get what it is. I, listen, I told... I, yeah, somebody just woke me something about kissing. I told Richie and Eric, you know, listen, I'll, you know, sit down and talk over the phone. And, you know, I'll sit down and wrestle you guys. Come to the show, you stupid. We know Eric's not allowed a big event because of who he's scammed. Again, it had something to do with Rakizi. Um, how ironic. You guys see each other, hold on, you guys see each other at Legends. You guys see each other at Allentown. You know, maybe, we, maybe you guys can talk and, you know, if one don't have to make fucking stupid t-shirts or, or one guy having Ken Anderson hold up a sign saying Richie's an asshole or something. Yeah. Fucking end it already. I mean, I'm cool with Eric. I'm, obviously, I do business with Richie. Um, because you, know. you wouldn't rather do a business with an honest man and not a con man. Oh, Eric, Eric's never con. Rich, yeah, well, I, I, and I agree. Like Dixon, I, Eric's, Eric's never screwed me over. I've never had a problem with Eric. He's done me favors. So. But I, did, I, I kind of did put him over last night. I, not to, he did, and I said that. Whether I, I love him or hate him, I said, Richie, put your over. Yeah. I put him over, and Eric, if you're listening to this, yes, I put you over last night. Had Rikishi been with you last night, none of this would have happened. I in said that I was me, I was on my way, I, was, I left the building, and I said that to him. And then today he's on there fucking with all this shit. I was like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Well, Richie, Richie's got him blocked, so he can't see what Richie says, and Richie can't see what his he says. It's only people are just copying and pasting bits and pieces and sending it to him, so he only gets to see the shit. He doesn't get to see everything. It's just I think that the, the people who are commenting on both sides are stirring the pot more than it needs to be, because right now, as I said, I said this could be like an, uh, a WWE Network three day show with all this comments and crap that's going on I mean, it's, it's nuts it's just but the funny, hold on, the, funny, the, the funny thing is, is, is Eric can't see what, what Richie's right and vice versa so it's just like entertainment for guys like me and you okay. <laughs> and then somehow you got dragged into it or being accused of scamming somebody so, yeah, what the hell is that all about? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't. I really, I really want to know. Uh, I really want to know who this guy is. Because the, the only I went to look at his page. He's got one mutual friend, and it's Richie. <laughs> oh, by the yeah. way, I forgot to mention this. Mooch said, "Tell, tell Kevin." Then this sounds like a rock, a deal. Rob Fury pull. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh man, that was one of the greatest shows Whee! ever. One of the greatest shows ever. Whew, that was craziness. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, <laughs> Rich, take some mitol or some mitol. Don't fucking start. <laughs> Ibuprofen for headaches, might all for cramps, you know, and um. Might all for cramps. I'm gonna give you a fucking cramp when I see you. 
you, you just just relax, dude. You you're gonna be dead by the time you're fifty. You're gonna just you're just gonna come home from a convention one day that Sims is gonna be out, and you're just gonna have a heart attack. I gotta clear all my books. Well, Moose wants on the show, by the way. Of course he does. <sighs> you heard that, Dave? He said, "Of course you do," but he don't want to talk to you right now. He's messaging me. I can see everything he's saying. <laughs> he goes, keep talking about you, putting them over on the show. <laughs> yes, we know you got Bret Hart Dave at the big event. It's okay. We know. MZ Promotions, the face that runs the town. Doesn't rhyme, but he, he likes the way it sounds. The face that runs the town. Oh, yeah. my God. I, I said he's the, oh my God. he's the ass that runs the mess. Yeah. Anyway. That's, that's another story for All right. Life. Joe. Yeah. All right. Uh, Women's of Warriors. Getting excited? Getting excited. Get a lot ex- of work for me here. A lot of work. A lot of work. But it's good. I like, I like, you know, not Kevin. I really like when I'm busy. I like, um, I like having a lot of different projects. And this is something new. You know, I haven't ran a new company, obviously, since December of 2007. So this is something... Um, you know, new for me. Like I said, we, we, and, and as far as you know, the Warriors, of, uh, Warriors of Wrestling banner, we got a bunch of different things that we're doing. Um, you know, we get we got stuff going down with, with student shows, and obviously the regular shows. Mm-hmm. Um, a big one, March fourth. Um, and you know the the um. Hold on a second. Why are you calling my phone? <laughs> <laughs> annoying. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Live radio. Hold on a second. Uh, so yeah, can't, can't make the cool, stuff up. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I like keeping busy and doing stuff. Well, I'm I'm definitely I'm amped up. Um, I, I I fulfill I fulfilled a portion of my responsibilities. And um, oh really. Hey, I got all the damn women. <laughs> uh, and good, good job. Yo, it's it's not easy. I mean, you, you there's some out there you just don't you really just don't want, you know. So you you got to make sure you got a good you have a good balance of talent out there. And a lot of people who have been uh, who've been tuning in to see who we have. Coming into this tournament, they're getting. Well, we got. Well, hold on a minute. We got. We got two more left, correct? We have two more left. One we, we're going to announce uh, at the same time. I'm going to post it on Facebook. Um, that would be contestant number fifteen. And, and when do you want to do sixteen? Uh, tomorrow. Okay, that's what I thought. And I just told you not to announce tonight. And what? We're looking at message. Is that good or no? Uh, that is correct. Okay. So. But she is still going off on Eric on his fucking thing. Leave him alone. I'm, listen, I'm just going. Oh, I'm just going. You're full. Watch. You're full. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you. Full. I know why the guy was. Full. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go, let's go. We're going to have to hear the story. It's like, who's the bigger fool, the fool or the fool who follows? Anyway, um, okay, so entrant number 15, a lady who uh, made her return from serious injury last night at uh, CCW. She had uh, some serious neck issues, and she is back, and she is ready to take on the world, and that is Tara Calloway. Excellent. You like that, Rich? Interesting. <laughs> I don't know who any of these freaking girls are. He's still on the fucking air. I don't. <laughs> I thought he was fun. Uh, I don't. I don't even know what. He, I don't think I heard was woo. I, I didn't know what that meant. I don't know if he was excited about the announcement or he walked into a fan. I don't. Here you go. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. What are, you, what are you clapping at? I'm clapping at you. Oh, all right, well, somebody's got to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
That was the first time. That's the first time I made an announcement in a post at the same time. Go ahead, Richie. I don't know why Richie's still on the air, but go ahead. If this episode does not make episode of the year, the end of the year for Damian on, 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 I don't know what will. Yeah. Uh, I will say that the 16th entrant into the tournament will not be Angelina Love. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, no, no. Lady. <laughs> Well, but hold on a minute, hold on a minute. There's also, everybody seems to think it's going to be somebody else. And I want to put that to bed. It's not going to be Thunder Rosa either. Trust me, if it, we could, it would have happened. But she is not available. Yeah, exactly. But... Um, yeah, we, we, we tried. And it's also, there was another another one that kept someone kept asking me about, and we tried as well. It's not going to be Allie. We tried. So, but it's gonna be it's a good name, very good it's name. Not, it hold, it's not gonna it's not gonna be Ricky Debray. It's no, it's, definitely yeah. not. Or or his fiance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you'll have to, you'll have to Shut up. <laughs> oh my god! So this tournament, <laughs> this t- oh god, this uh, I'm ready to mute. I'm ready to mute him. All right, this tournament. <laughs> We're going to be doing, if my understanding, it's four. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We're not going to have all that now. This is really no, okay. Not- you want to just, you want to get all the, the contestants out there. Yeah, let's, okay. let's do that. What, we still got time for this. There's going to be a sixteen women tournament. Mm-hmm. We'll explain the format as it goes. Okay. Um, the winner of the tournament will be the first ever women. What is the wrestling women's champion? Um, and that title will be defended. Uh, wherever these girls go on Warriors wrestling shows on other promotion shows if, if the promoters let that happen and uh, obviously when we do our second third fourth season, and whatever shows of women of Warriors right. so this is going to be you know, not a title for that night and it goes into somebody's closet this is going to be a title that you're going to see a lot of right we were, and, we, and like you said you, you would like it defended on numerous promotions and yeah, all, like all over the all over the world if possible Right, that's absolutely right. You know, I mean, if whoever it is is, you know, happens to be in Japan for a couple months, we'd like to see it defended there. If they're in the UK or they're in Mexico, same deal. We want the Women's of Warriors title to be renowned. We want people to know when they see that belt where it came from. Exactly. So. Oh, Jesus. What is he passionate about? Why is he still on the fucking air? Why? Richie, what? Dave said, ask if it's going to be Sunny Kiss. Or me and Brad. Dave. Mooch. It's not going to be Sunny Kiss. No, it's not going to be Sunny Kiss. (laughs) Or or anyone else like that. It's not going to be. It's an all female tournament. Listen, it's somebody that a lot of the, a lot of the fans, a lot of these indie fans are really gonna be happy and excited to see. Um, it's somebody that could go. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, look, we want to give a hint. You want to give one hint? You you want to give it? Or you want me to give it? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I I have to, I know the area. Which state is she from? A where where she hails from or where she lives now? Where she's she hails from now? She she's currently from the state of Pennsylvania. Is that where she's from now? Okay. Yep. That's not where she was born and raised, but that's where she is now. Where was she born and raised? Texas. Okay. So, if anybody knows... Oh, I can't figure it out. Thunder Rosa is not from the United States. Thunder <laughs> Rosa is from... <laughs> she's from Mexico. Come on. Exactly. She's from Mexico. Tijuana! <laughs> oh my God! She's from Mexico, and she. Right, hold on, but hold on a minute. Just because Thunder Rosa's not going to be there on April eighth, she's her partner. That's right. Um, Holiday. She will be there. That's, she's the first one. Um, she was the first one announced. announced. And, uh, she keeps talking. She keeps flashing her mouth at me. I'm not in this tournament. She need not worry about me. She's going to find you, though. You know it. 
You're going to be in the back and the lights are going to go off and she's going to be standing right behind you. She's creepy. She's the Undertaker? She's...